Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can get DaVinci Resolve 14 installed and working inside of Linux. So as you can see, I have it running on Linux Mint right now. Uh, I've also managed to get it uh, working on Manjaro Linux in very similar fashion, so you just change the commands to Pacman instead of apt-get, basically. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this in a VirtualBox instance of Mint. And I have the instructions over here on the left. I'll also put them in the description. So the first thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is to download the installer. We can do that at blackmagicdesign.com. I'll actually post this link into the uh, instructions as well. And we want the Linux version, obviously. So we have to fill in our details in order to get the file. So you can just kind of fill this in. And you're going to want to save the zip file to your computer. Okay, so once DaVinci Resolve is done downloading, um, you're going to have the zip file. You're going to need to open that up. And by default, you probably do this in your downloads folder. So your user account, downloads. I'm going to extract this .sh installer file into the downloads folder. And just give it a second to go ahead and do that. And then to actually run the installer, we're going to want to open up the Linux terminal. So now we pop into the downloads folder. We can see that DaVinci Resolve 14.2 Linux.sh is in there. But the quicker way to actually um, access that would be to do sudo dot slash to make sure it knows we're trying to run the installer in the directory. And here what I'm going to do is just use an asterisk to represent any characters that come after this capital D, lowercase a, capital V, so that we don't need to type out this full name. So just sudo dot slash DAV um, asterisk is going to be able to get it to run. So here I'm going to do um, basically putting in my sudo password. And you should get this uh, disclosure agreement basically by installing the program. You agree to all this stuff, standard fare. So we're going to hit yes to accept. And it's going to go ahead and take care of some stuff in the background. So you're going to know that the installer is done when it gives you the message resolve system updated. Uh, you should see a lot of these copying lines as the installer goes. And now that we're done with that, it should install DaVinci Resolve to slash opt slash resolve slash bin, where in this, uh, in this directory you can see the resolve executable file there as dot slash resolve. Now if we try to run that, most likely you're going to get some minor issues. So on my main system, the tools I needed to add in were libssl 1.0 and libssl dev. So I'm going to type in the apt-get install for those two. So libssl 1.0.0 and libssl dev. So this will uh, grab a couple files if we need them and upload them to update them to the uh, latest version. And then in order to make sure DaVinci Resolve can actually find those new files, the libraries that it needs, we're going to need to put in this command. And uh, basically what we're doing here is creating a link between the original files to the location that DaVinci Resolve is looking for. But pretty much you can just copy these commands from the description of this video. So now I'm going to try running Resolve again. And I did notice before that on the uh, virtual instance, it actually popped up with a new missing library, which is libopencl. So I'm going to have to add that in as well. OK, so depending on your system, there may be some of these libraries that your uh, Linux system is missing. In the case of my main uh, Linux install, the one that you're seeing recorded on, I didn't actually need this one, but it might be the case that you do. So I'll also put this in the description, and we'll add these libraries in as well. So here I'm getting this error message because I made the link slightly wrong. I missed a forward slash here when I was typing it in, so I'm going to create that link again. And uh, hopefully it should let us go into resolve. Okay, it looks like I actually messed up the typing of the uh, other one too. What was wrong there? Okay, so slash lib slash x686 underscore 64 dash linux dash gnu 
slash lib. Ah, okay. That's not supposed to be a dash for the crypto. Okay, that looks good now. Okay, now we can try opening Resolve one more time. So the first time you try to run it, if you have no root drivers, it may look like it's working okay, and it'll pop up, but then when you try to actually enter the program, it's not going to display on screen properly. And then if you close the program out and try to reopen it, it may not open at all. So what you actually need to do is to switch to the NVIDIA drivers, or I guess you would do the equivalent if you happen to have a, uh, shoot, what are they called, like ATI... AMD drivers, uh, the other side of video drivers. Um, anyway, yeah, update your video drivers. It's going to be important for this program. And once you've done that, reboot your machine. You can go back into the bin directory and then do dot slash resolve in order to run it. And if all goes well, you should be able to open DaVinci Resolve uh, as I have here on my main desktop and to start importing footage edit it, use the different tabs, and export your video. So I hope you were able to get DaVinci Resolve 14 working on your machine. It's a really awesome video editor and honestly probably the best free video editor that you can get, especially on Linux machines. So it's super cool, I love it. And uh, I will see you guys in my future video content.